Welcome to another video from the DJPodcast.com. In this video, we'll be looking at the 2.1 update to Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. The first thing I'd like to highlight about this update is that Tractor Pro 2 now has multi-core processor support. That means that if you've bought a computer in probably the last, I'd say, five years or so, you're probably going to get a slight performance increase now that it can utilize multiple cores of your CPU. By default, this option will be checked off in the audio setup tab of your preferences. You can see here it says enable multi-core processor support. There's one other option which is really handy and that is under the mixer tab. Here you'll see that we now have an option for headroom which can be set to none, minus 3 dB, minus 6 dB, or minus 9 dB. And really that all just depends on how much headroom you want on your master output. Let's take a look at the new additions to the sample decks. As you can see, I have a clip loaded here. And if I hover over it, you can see that we now have key lock control, FX control, and headphone queuing control for all four of the samples in each sample deck. Next, let's talk about a couple more small changes that might really go a long way to improving your experience DJing with Tractor Pro. First is the waveform jump size displays now when the track is playing or when the track is stopped. Here you can see a track on the left, and if I hover over the waveform, you'll see that it tells me the number of bars that I would be jumping. So let's just jump ahead. This will also occur if I am playing the track as well, so I can see how many bars ahead I would be jumping. They've also made some nice kind of cosmetic, or what they say, readability changes. The first is on the phase meter. So if I play this track on the right, you'll see that the phase meter now kind of has a transparent tail with the indicator as a solid orange line. Also, when you jump to different points in the track, there was a bug that the waveform behind you wouldn't catch up all the way. Now it's really speedy, and as you can see, it kind of quickly builds the waveform around the point that you jump to in the track, which is really nice, especially if you're going to be jumping between cue points a lot. Finally, let's talk about the improved setup wizard. If you've never used the setup wizard before, it's a really easy way to configure your sound card and MIDI controllers with Tractor Pro 2. To get to it, you're going to want to open up the preferences, and then click on setup wizard at the bottom. You'll now see a improved setup wizard that will take you through all the steps of setting up your external MIDI controller and your external sound card. There are also some other changes that you can find on Native Instruments website. And don't forget that for more Tractor Pro 2 videos, head over to the DJPodcast.com. Thanks for watching.